Hey guys, Techie Messi here, and today we'll be learning how to green screen using Panzoid Clip Maker. So let's get into it. First, let's head on to Panzoid. So, panzoid.com. Then we'll go straight to the video editor. Recently I've been informed about Panzoid's video editor, so I decided to take a look. It looked really nice. It can even render 4K resolutions or even 2K. And I was wondering, it looked so professional from one angle, but I was wondering if it could green screen. So I did a little bit of research and found out how to green screen. So I decided to share it with you guys. And let's just head straight into the video. So you go to this link, panzoid.com slash tools slash video editor. The link will be in the description below. And then we're going to select our file. So I've got a file which I cropped myself. One thing Panzoid's uh, video editor can't do is cropping. So I decided to crop it beforehand with my own video editor. So here's the video. And now, as you can see in the background, the video has a green screen. And what we're going to do, we're going to remove that green screen using one of Panzoid's effects, which are known as chroma fix so we click on the video over here clicked on the video track and now we're going to go to chroma key sorry and in chroma key we're going to select our color now what I would do to select the color you turn off chroma key and then get this chrome extension called color picker eyedropper you click one shade of green if you wanna have the rendering going really fast and well then I'll recommend having multiple lights but I'm just gonna use this video that I have and then you'd select the video turn it back on whoops let's do that again turn it off and then choose one shade Try using a brighter shade, sometimes it can help. Then close this, open this, choose, turn it back on. Usually this would happen, but what I will do, I've already chose the color beforehand, so I've used the eyedropper, I played around with it. I already have a code which I've copied beforehand and a bunch of settings. So I'll just plop the code in, choose. And as you can see, you'll have to play around with these settings here, the weight. So I've done that as well myself. I'm not really sure what each setting does. But if you use these settings correctly, you can quickly fix all of this. And there. So that's the video track done. And now we've green screened it. Now let's add something in the background. So I prepared a blue screen to put in the background, which I thought might look nice. So I'll just head over here. I'll select files, blue screen, open. And then what we'll do, if I'm able to, I'll move this down here. I might also get a random file copy Oops. cancel I should have just made a second blue screen but anyway oh, what I'll just fix this myself Give me two seconds, I'm just gonna quickly fix this. Moments later. Okay, done, fixed it. I just played around with it. So now you can see that we've added a background and we've added a background and we also moved the green screen. So now we can play around with the video as much as we want. See you later.